of Airbus's head of engineering here in the studio with us. He's Charles Champion. Welcome to you. So tell me how you're going to make my flights in the future more comfortable, even in economy class. Even in economy. Well, the idea is to move out of the classes, you know, and to have really a customized approach, a tailored approach. So you enter the aircraft with an interactive area, just put your hand, it guides you to your seat, it takes care of your luggage, and then you can choose be between either a smart tech zone where you are connected, morphing seats, also energy harvesting so that the heat of your body can be used in order to power the aircraft and the lights, or you go into more vitalizing or relaxing zone, or actually the seat is more around massage, taking care of you, morphing around you in order to provide you with an experience. So that's 40 years in 40 the future. Years advanced, 40 yeah. years, yes. So some of these things may actually come online sooner than that, but are you really talking about doing away with first class, business class, economy class? I think the idea is to move out of that you know, classical model, which is a bit out of date, and provide services depending on what the person wants. So the business model is more around the services. This is the interactive uh, cabin, these pictures that we're showing Absolutely. now. Is that right? This is where you idea, can play golf there in the middle. Yeah, the idea is to have a kind of what we could call a cave today, where you actually could play golf or do tutoring, actually uh, try to, you know, some suits on or whatever you want to do. And this, of course, would be available to all passengers. Let's take a look at some of the cabins coming on stream perhaps in the next couple of years or so, notably the A350. The change in materials is making your life much easier, I would presume. Well, it's easier for the passengers and the airlines. We're looking towards more self-cleaning type of uh, seats in order to help the maintenance work, have always that type of fresh aspect. And we're also working a lot on the recyclable so that all the material, even the complete aircraft, can be recycled after the end of the life. But using structures made primarily of, uh, what is it, carbon fibre reinforced polymer, that is a major change. Absolutely. It's kind of black aircraft. Where well, is that black? But the idea behind is to have a more efficient aircraft and really work on the carbon emissions so that our aircraft are really efficient. But, but using this material has proved very difficult, yeah. hasn't it, to actually build planes with this material. Boeing's had trouble with it. You've had trouble with it. I, will, I would say we are in the learning process, but we do have some carbon already. For instance, on the 380, the whole center box is carbon, the whole rear part is carbon. This is another step where the whole aircraft, actually, including the wings that are made in Broughton and the fuselage, are made out of carbon. And are you confident that the A350, for instance, which uses this new polymer material, will be delivered in time 2013? Ah, well, we're working on it. I mean, the start of the final assembly line is at the end of the year, and all the parts are already, the major parts are being actually manufactured around the world, and they will start to be put together in the summer this year. So that's the A350. You can't guarantee us there isn't going to be another delay to that one, can we? We're in the development, so each step after the, one after the other, but we're making good progress, I The A380 it's had suffered a lot of delays. Were you involved in making that aircraft? Yes, I was involved. I was ahead of the program. I mean, it was really a success in terms of we actually flew and uh, certified the aircraft within one year of the original plan and actually that aircraft is the flagship and people really enjoy and love flying about it. I mean even today you can see the people at the airport looking at the A380 when it arrives and it's really the queen of the sky. What about the engines from Rolls-Royce? When you're making these different changes to the cabins, it's not just a tinkering here and, and, and changing that. It's the whole process, and that is a very costly experience, isn't it? And, and knowing whether you can actually get this in the air and do what you want it to do and go as far as you want it to go. Well, aircraft is about innovation and technology, so, I mean, you just can't introduce a new product if you're not you know, more competitive, so you've got to take risks and master the risks. And we work quite closely with Rolls-Royce in particular in order to put together the best combination of aircraft and engine for the future. Paris Air Show is next week. What's the strategy for uh, beating out Boeing in orders? Well, I think it's not about beating Boeing, but it's really... Yes, it is. No, it's all on. about beating no, Boeing. No, come on now. Well, they are the manufacturers also. No, we see an upturn, and we actually, uh, we're actually introducing our new engine option on the 320, and that is proven to be extremely popular. It's going to save about 15% fuel compared to the current aircraft, and actually we see interest in the hundreds. So hopefully in Le Bourget, we'll see some orders materialize around the 320 new. What is your single most most favorite feature in your aircraft cabin of the future? 
I think the, the one is really about uh, the experience. It's really to provide you when you fly with a unique experience so that actually the, the journey is part of the experience, not just the destination. So all for somebody who's, nearly, somebody who's nearly two meters tall, my legs won't be yeah, up like that. Yeah, I was going to say, all I care <laughs> no, about is like you, you will have a morphing suit and uh, morphing seats and you will be able to arrange the seats. I will look forward to see what a morphing seat actually looks we'll like. Charles Champion, really good to meet you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you very much.